Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the distinguished guests. Let me welcome you again to the 8th Advances in Hospitality and Tourism Marketing and Management Conference. Um, before we start, I would like to invite our president of University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce, Associate Professor Dr. Sawani Thai Rung Road, to present her or to welcome uh, our participant. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this International Hospitality and Tourism Research Conference on Advances in Hospitality and Tourism Marketing and Management, AHTWM 2018. I would like to welcome all distinguished speakers. Thank you for your generously sharing your research results on the matter and for exchanging research ideas for all participants. The objective of this conference is to examine contemporary hospitality and tourism issues, stimulate dialogue and develop new perspectives in the field of, of hospitality and tourism within the globalized environment. The university deems that this conference will be beneficial to academia, industry, government, and other organizations in hospitality and tourism all over the country. We hope that not only do the participants get a chance to present and discuss ideas among one another, which may lead to future collaborations, but also the participants have opportunities to learn from invited speakers from all over the world. I wish to express my appreciation to our speakers, particularly uh, keynote speakers, Mr. Itipon Kunplum, Vice Minister of Tourism and Sport, Thailand, and he used to be the governor of uh, Pattaya City, very well-known um, tourism um, beach of Thailand. And he is still now a business leader of the region uh, and very keen in tourism. So uh, very best speaker. The other speaker coming is my boss, Mr. Kalin Salasin, Chairman of the Thai Chamber of Commerce and Board of Trade of Thailand. Um, and he's the Chairman of the University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce. That's why I said he's my boss. And another position, he is the Chairman of the Tourism Authority of Thailand Board of Directors. So you have got uh, very keen uh, speakers in the field of Thailand. Uh, they will give uh, a talk at this conference. And in this conference, there are 100, around 130 participants in total, with more than 100 foreigners coming from three continents, which are Asia, Europe, and America. I hope that all of you uh, participants have the opportunities to acquire more knowledge of research uh, in hospitality and tourism marketing and management. And I also hope that this conference will lead to future development in the field of the hospitality and tourism, especially in Thailand. Finally, I would like to thank the organizers for their great effort and diligence in planning and organize, organizing this conference. My special thanks go to Washington State University. For me, it's one of the best universities in the world. In 1987, I got a Fulbright scholarship and they sent me to Washington State University. Without this university, I wouldn't have been this president of this university. So, million thanks to Washington State University. I would now like to announce the opening of the conference and welcome you once again to the advances of 
in hospitality and tourism marketing and management conference, AHT WM 2018. I wish a great success of the conference. Thank you, you all. Thank you very much uh, for the warm welcome speech from our president of University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce. Before we start, I would like to call uh, upon our guest speaker and uh, the president and Professor Dogan to have the group picture in the front. Today we are pleased to welcome our distinguished keynote speaker, Mr. Itipon Kunplum. A very special guest, as you already heard from our president, who is both a politician and the vice minister for tourism and sports. So let me tell you about uh, his background in brief. Mr. Itipon received his Bachelor of Laws from Chulalongkorn University and his Master of Laws LLM from International Golden Gate University, the United States of America. His political experiences directly and indirectly related to his current position are the following. He was an advisor to the Deputy Minister of Transport, the Deputy Minister of Interior, the Deputy Minister of Commerce, the Deputy to the Minister of Science, Technology and Environment, and the Deputy of Spokesman of Minister of Tourism and Sports. He's also the extraordinary committee of several draft amendment bills concerning the safety and well-being of people of Thailand. That is, he was the committee to the financial and accounting banking institutions, House of Representatives, Joint Government Coordination Committee, member of the Chonburi House of Representatives, the Fifth Constituency, and the extraordinary committee for the draft budget bill. Moreover, he used to be the Pattaya city mayor, as our president already mentioned, twice, from 2002 to 2008, and 2008 to 2016. Well, this is only some of his many, many working experiences to be mentioned right here. Ladies and gentlemen, today Mr. Idipon will be sharing with us his opinion on Thai-Net's sustainable tourism. With that, I ask that you give your full attention to Mr. Itipon Kunplum and help me in welcoming him to the stage, Mr. Itipon. Good afternoon, all of the researcher participants. This is uh, Mr. Glyn Salasin, Professor Dokan, organizing committee, the press, ladies and gentlemen. I myself, as a uh, Guest speaker, I cannot say that I'm a keynote speaker because of the, this conference. Uh, I'm very pleased and honored to join and to share the idea and to show you the figure and some of the strategy that the tourism of Thailand, especially on my duty now as a vice uh, minister of the tourism and sport. Our minister, he's also the professor from the university. He's a lawyer. He's my my teacher too, and also we work really closely and very busy now within the period of the tourism season. And also for this year, we can call the amazing Thainess uh, year of the tourism. And for my PowerPoint presentation, I will share with you with the, with the, our affiliate, our uh, number, our strategy, and to share with you with the how Thai, especially for the Thai agency, can uh, do and support for the sustainable uh, development in terms of the tourism. And also uh, for this conference, I have I heard so many researcher, professor, all of the expertise in uh, tourism come to join together as the UTTC, Washington State U, and even for our Thai friend, our Thai government. Officer will uh, welcome all of you here for this conference. I would like to thank UTTC to invite uh, Minister and inviting me to join for this event. And we hope you will have uh, experience, you will make friends and long relationships among of your, your participants, and you will impress 
uh, the program and visit many attractions in Thailand among this conference. And please uh, know from our information and I will share some of the idea. In this period of time is as we call the raining season for Thailand, but also it's not the raining for the tourism. The tourism in Thailand, we have a strong policy to have no low season anymore. That's why our promotion is to promote uh, tourism in terms of eco-tourism, cultural tourism, the Thainess or the Thai way tourism, and to visit our historical uh, or national historical park in, in, in many parts and also some of our private uh, sector they adapt our policy to develop their business. Even for, for this evening program, you will visit the Asia Teak. It's owned by one of the, the top leading private sector in Thailand, the, the Thai beverage or Chang, beer Chang water, they, they own that, that place. They come join our government sector as uh, private and public. A co committee to uh, meeting together to share the idea and to develop uh, our tourism and our economy to have grow uh, and reach the target that we uh, that we have to join to go together and we support with uh, our budget and our policy okay we will start with our presentation with the Thai Nest and sustainable tourism. First, I would like to share about the affiliate, our agents of the Ministry of the Tourism and Sport. We have two lines of the affiliate from sport and from tourism. We have four. Our agency, the Ministry of Tourism and Sport, Department of Tourism, Tourist Police Bureau and Tourism Authority of Thailand, TAT. You quite know our agents, one of the agents that you quite know, as you know from the, the news and for the tourism information about TAT. They're doing the marketing. We have uh, eight, 19 of international office worldwide. Uh, now our director from 19 office worldwide come back to Bangkok to join for the annual uh, strategy for the year 2019 for this period of time that why all our overseas staff come back to Bangkok and to work together in terms of the tourism and especially in the topic of the sustainable tourism too with our affiliate agency. This uh, presentation and the figure of the tourism in Thailand you can uh, see our inbound and domestic tourism is quite growing but not that much because our target is around two figure both but we only have 11 percent for inbound tourism but our domestic is quite uh, not growing as a target but also we try to push our Thai people to uh, travel around Thailand and to spend more when the vacation, when the terms of the tourist tourism, and when after work as a tourist, the tourism receipt plus nine point seven four seven percent. In two thousand seven and fifty four billion baht is quite around six percent of the GDP of Thailand. It's a number of international to around Thailand. We cannot deny that the most population in the world is China, if we come from China. That's why the people to visit Thailand as a foreign tourist is come from China. Mostly come from mainland China. Almost 10 million last year, relatively from our ASEAN member, some from UK, Russia, India, Japan, Korea. 
respectively, this is our number. The total is uh, 35.38 million. It's growing 8.7% last year. But this year, we hope it's more increased, around 3 to 5% is not that much because of the world economy and because of uh, some of the, the regions that have their own of the economies economies crisis firm terms we are the top 10 of the world as the international tourist destinations and by the number of the arrival the first international tourist arrival is france the capital is paris is number one for bangkok we are number eight of the top 10 capital city that international tourist arrival. The role of tourism in Thailand that we have uh, expenditure around 2.3 3 trillion baht, grow 8.46%. Employment opportunity grow two digit, 11.71% total employment. And national economic drive around 18.12% by national GDP. It's quite to share you to, to get the idea of by the number. And for the tourism highlight, we have feed the good feedback from our international tourists. Mostly after their visit, we will have evaluation with them and they get the feedback that received the number of arrival. We joined UNWTO last two weeks. We just host for the fourth gastronomy tourism uh, from UNWTO, the president of UNWTO had visited us. We welcome them and they really like. We will join the set, the package and the program about gastronomy tourism in, the, in this year and for the next year future. As my presentation as a, Bangkok is the most popular city in the world for international travelers. Uh, by MasterCard, last year the global destination city index and nine restaurants in Bangkok named among 50 best restaurants in Asia one in Horent one in Horentel Hotel one two two near this hotel so many you can find more information in Web, the local Thai website, but they strongly recommend for the famous restaurant. It's called wongnai.com. W-O-N-G-N-A-I. It means exclusive.com. Wongnai is in the Thai language. W-O-N-G-N-A-I.com. It's all about restaurant and where to eat. And in every cuisine, every famous, you can join, you can find in the website. Masaman is the first popular uh, menu. Tom Yam Kung. I'm sure everyone of you already test Tom Yam Kung. Som Tam, Papaya Salad or Papaya Pok Pok. <laughs> Pad Thai. Pad Thai also is one of the famous Thai dish. Pad Thai. If you're not for this trip, just try for just try to, to test for, for the evening. Okay, I'd like to share for the development plan, National Tourism, it's a volume two, it's due uh, for next five years. We have renewed review of the tourism related master plan uh, since for the volume one. We have four main input, I use by layout the framework, including both domestic and international perspective. Uh, for the main topic A, and <coughs> with the international domestic tourism industry, we analyze what the what happening. We have interviewing with expertise. We set up for the focus group. We review the of the related master plan. We send it to the National uh, Tourism Council. We uh, review the last 
the literature, what are they targeting? We <coughs> also uh, review for the best practice analysis and NTDP volume one. We, we we plan to assess what is missing, what is will improve from the volume two of our national tourism development plan. It's quite a structure that we uh, review for our volume two of the national tourism development plan. By asset one, by study through the, the global of the Thailand tourism industry to study the best in class, to study tourism related master plan to expert interview to national focus group. We concluded and we doing the public hearing. After that, we draft and we send it to the National uh, Tourism Development Office. We develop uh, in the subcommittee. We have a national policy committee and also send it to cabinet to get approval from the cabinet we, by the national development plan and to approve the budget in each project by the national development plan. Okay, it is the vision for the next 20 years by the Thai National Tourism Development Plan that to be the world leading quality destination to balance the development while leveraging Thai-ness to contribute significantly to be uh, to the country social economy development and wealth distribution inclusively and sustainably. This is also the same of the topic for this conference too. We need exclusively and sustainably. There's also many uh, things and many letters that do that we work as to reach the vision by the year 2036. That means in the next uh, 20 years, as a vision, we have to aim to be the world leading quality destinations and contributing of the country economic transformations because of the location is our. E Ge geographical, we are right on the center of the ASEAN community. We like we can claim that we are the mainland of the ASEAN, because uh, by uh, <coughs> by the geographical, in our ASEAN member ten country, ten countries, Thailand is like on the center. We can like uh, we are the hub, and we can link to the border to our uh, friends. Uh, to join in terms of the tourism too. That's why we have balance and development. We have leverage Thainess. We can we add more Thai in the plan and also we contribute to the country and socio economy development and wealth distribution and contribute sustainably. To be the world leading quality destinations to balance and development leveraging Thainess. That's why we can call the Thainess sustainable tourism. We put in the vision and we do by the mission. It's quite more later, but okay, I will uh, explain and conclude this very shortly. Uh, to be the world leading as a vision and we offering and sustainability, we infrastructure and amenities, the human capital for the branding and the marketing, governments, regulations, we, we quite uh, adjust and reform in some of the comments and some of the complaints from the people who work in the <coughs> tourism industry, even for Thais, even for our foreign guests, even for the in terms of academy from the university or from the people in every classes that we include all the comments from them and we have to adjust our regulations to offering for the sustainability. We have five year 
strategic assets from last year to 2021. Strategy one to develop of the tourism attractions, products, services, including promotion, sustainability in attraction, culture, and environment. You quite may know our one of the famous island, PP Islands. For last month, uh, we just closed closed for four months to let the the beach come like a come renourish and come to uh, like up to have more clean and to let them uh, to uh, live, live from like a re renourish themselves and so many attractors attraction that we try to let them growing relatively not too fast not uh, we concerned about loading capacity that's not too much uh, tourists come that's why it is maybe uh, we will take the time and we have to balance from demand and supply in each at tourist attraction strategy two to develop an improvement to support infrastructure that we support the larger volume of the tourist arrival we expand the terminal of airport in the regions even in so in the Pum, in the Pum airport that we also in the second phase that we have to that we under construction for the expansions uh, facilitates for domestic travel through improvement of the logistic to train to the highway now with many highway under construction for the new route of the highway we link from the central to the northeastern we uh, start the project from the northern of the high-speed train, northern part of Thailand to the eastern part of Thailand that we join with the, the, China, with the Chinese government for the high-speed train. Okay, strategy T3 to development and we develop the human resource in the tourism industry that the tailor of the marketing of the market dynamic and enhance capabilities of those employed into the tourism industry to gain the competitiveness. It's very interesting about to have more competitiveness in terms of the tourism industry because uh, especially like in this training for Washington State University that they join with the UTTC and to invite all of you here to join this conference is one of the uh, like a strategy to uh, develop as the competitiveness to improve competitiveness in the term of the tourism industry strategy four to reinforce the Thailand as a quality and safe destination to employ the target marketing into the attract and encourage a visit from specific segment to promote and emphasize uniqueness of Thailand's and individual destinations and to encourage domestic tourism to create locations and time balance and five to empower marketing campaign to the stakeholder collaboration and the technologies and strategy five we promote a good management and good governance to support effective tourism and development we improve and integrate uh, tourism related laws, regulations and standards to support the tourism development like uh, Professor Dogen said they have an um, exchange program, they have a training course that also we organize and we join with the university and institute, many institutes here in Thailand to, to set the training course and to develop for the law, uh, for the for the career, for the more skill in the tourism career and to encourage the private investment and to establish of the tourism intelligence center. Like now we we can call we can convert our tourism information center to be the intelligence 
the center. It's more than the information. It can be the tourist police helping center, to be the, like a one-stop service to uh, support and assist for our tourists and assist them for the foreigner, to improve international collaboration for tourism development, and for issue-based development, we have to concern for the issue bit like medical and wellness. We have support for many foreign investors who come to Thailand to invest, to start their business as a medical rehab rehabilitation center. One in south part of Bangkok, one in province in the eastern part, one in the south in the northern part of, of Thailand. As I heard, is now three uh, medical center or rehabilitation center invest by the foreign investor, the senior tourism, tourism for all. We are concerned with the universal design to uh, let every group of the people can access the tourism attraction, like a wheelchair, like elderly, like a pregnancy ladies, have a family have a more group of the family tourism. My meeting incentive convention and ed ed exhibition is also our uh, policy to support. And green, eco, and sustainable tourism. We have many uh, adventure park uh, in eastern part, mostly in, in northern part of Thailand. Sport tourism. This year, around October, October be Host, Thailand host for the MotoGP Thailand is the first time in Thailand and we host for three years this year, next year, 2000 and to 2020. We host for the MotoGP and many tennis, badminton, uh, cycling, swimming, many that Thailand have host for international sport event. And next two months we will join for the Asian game in, in Indonesia. Maritime tourism, mostly from the southern part of Thailand, and Muslim-friendly tourism is one of the topic that we get the issue from the Muslim country, especially for in terms of the halal food, that we have to improve our quality and standard and uh, recommend more about Muslim-friendly tourism. We have many mosques in. Bangkok, we have uh, one of the beautiful uh, community, Muslim community, that they have their own products, they have their own culture. One in Ayutthaya, one in Chonburi near my area, Pattaya, and also mostly our Muslim people live in southern part of Thailand. That this uh, issue based development for sustainable tourism of Thailand. Next is about area based. If you think about the area base, we define as a cluster. Northern part, we can call Lana cluster, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Lampu, Lampang, Tak province. You can call the cluster, you can enjoy with the northern uh, temple, very, very beautiful temple with the scenic view of the northern part of Thailand for the Lana cluster, for the Klong, River or Mekong, Greater Mekong River Cluster. For the Cultural World Heritage Cluster in uh, Sukhothai, in uh, Uttaradit, in many uh, provinces in Thailand, we can call, we can claim as the Royal Coast Cluster, Chumphon, Hua Hin, Andaman Cluster, Phuket, Krabi, Active Beach Cluster, Pattaya, Rayong. Chao Praya River Cluster from uh, Ayutthaya, Samut Prakan, Bangkok. You can join as the uh, area base. This uh, <coughs> recommendation that we, we promote as a must visit cities. Northern part from the cluster Lampang, Lampun, the timeless city, the Peshabun, Pisanulok. Mountain of flower and mist. Nan, prayer is lovely whisper among the stars. 
uh, northeast, Buriram, Surin, you will visit the castle of the two era, Lei, Chayapum, the coolest and happiness, the central part of Thailand, the Smut Songkram, Nakhon Pathom, the city of Thai, and the three times, the Rajabuli for the floating market, and Supanburi as the community for the eastern part, as my hometown, Trat Rayong Islands and Off Dream, Chantaburi, Sakel is paradise, it's also the, the border of the Cambodia too, it's the paradise garden of fruit. You can taste and enjoy many uh, mangosteen, durian, rambutan, and many fruit in, in that uh, two province. The southern part of Thailand, you always know Phuket, Chumphon, Ranong, Nakhon, Si Thamarat, Patalung. This uh, uh, promote as uh, not a major city. This uh, we can call alternate city. Amazing Thailand tourism year. This year also we promote at the Thailand uniqueness. You can enjoy at the Thai challenge activities. We have host many challenge activities like uh, uh, <coughs> World uh, Cheerleaders Contest, the Thai festivities in many festivities of Thai that we organize in the broad, like a Thai festival in, in Japan, Tokyo, in Osaka, in Sydney, in many that uh, we have the, embassy, the Thai embassy that uh, they, we let our Thai embassy to arrange as a Thai festival. The Thai treasury and luxury, the Thai creative experience, the Thai wisdom. This time you have to try the Thai massage. The Thai way of life, the Thai serenity. There's many uniqueness of Thai. Not only for taste the Thai food, Thai massage you can enjoy in many unique of Thai and Thainess. Sustainable tourism policy is quite a lot of the sustainable tourism policy that we promote at the green tourism project. Green recycle, reuse, sustainable development projects. We have to go from 8.9 to 12, to 14.7, we join with the UNWTO, Sufficiency Economic Philosophy, <coughs> to follow our King Ramanite philosophy, Global Sustainable Tourism Criteria. It's a picture that can you figure out. The Green Tourism Strategy, the three strategies to develop the green tourism resources. That's why we necessary to close some of the famous beach for four months to get them back to create and uh, to effective the mechanism for uh, support the green tourism to supporting and marketing for the green tourism. Because the trend of the world now is concerned about the green, about the environment, reuse, recycle, and that's why we also comply and follow. Uh, sustainable tourism development project, we also develop this, the policy for the, we monitoring the system. We develop the hand, as a handbook that TAT, Tourism Authority of Thailand, we also create the pocket book or the handbook, even for the blind, we also have the nine, 19 tourist attraction for the blind that we have the, the bill. Uh, we have also the, the book for the blind. We also promote the logo of the sustainable development by UNWTO. It's equal tourism by Tourism Authority of Thailand. We have Green Heart. Green logistics, green attractions, green activities, green community, green services, green plus as a seven green that we uh, create at the eco tourism. Sustainable tourism management, 
It's a small footage for the big reward. Together we can do it. It's everyone's responsibility to help maintain that the extraction to promote and to let the people, especially for the local people, that they are like to let the attitude to be one of their belong, their to let them come to involve to to more welcome tourists and come to have to join the big cleaning and to preserve for their own uh, tourist attractions. Is to reduce low of the admission pollution to low energy consumption to positive impact on the environment and natural resources and wildlife and to uh, enhance for the historic heritage and authentic culture and uniqueness of the community to many uh, topic in each part in each uh, like uh, in each region that we uh, come to promote even to our local people to know about sustainable tourism management to let them uh, come to join with uh, our government officer as set up as a community committee to preserve and to uh, develop in each uh, tourist attraction. We create the green guideline when uh, visiting the green community to let the everyone can help to maintain community and trad and traditions and man and manner. Manner is very important for for to to tell our visitor to know about the manner and respect and follow the local do. Like when we go to the temple, some that we have to take off the shoes, we have to change the short pant to the skirt, and some we have to respect the, the law and follow the rule by the local to let them know. And I think it's one of the, the attract, one of the charm that the, especially for the foreign people come to uh, like uh, come to know from the culture, come to know from the Thai culture in each uh, in its attraction too. Okay, this the conclude. Uh, I let, like I said from the beginning of my presentation about to share uh, by the number and the strategy and some of the, our policy in terms of the eco tourism and sustainable development. I think is a little bit involved. Uh, by the policy, but I think the major move is mainly from the people, it's mainly from uh, our community. The government policy is one of the part, but actually I think it's about to collaboration. Law enforcement is not the answer. Law enforcement, I think, is only the part of the of of the government sector is only, but I think to let them involve and to uh, let them understand how to to develop as a sustainable, how to preserve of their resources, how to uh, promote their own attractions as their own belongs, as their own community base, as their own uh, issue base, and to let them. Uh, have a better life, have more income, have more visitors, and by the way, have good for uh, the young generation in the community too. I think sustainable development for tourism is about to let people to trust and to respect each other in each part, in each place, and to come join together uh, and to uh, like uh, give an honor each other that okay, you you have the role or to have the rule like this, we follow you, we respect, and if we go to, uh, to another place, you can respect and to join in each role of the life, the way of life, and to, uh, like, uh, to support and some of the comments and some of the, uh, like to try to help uh, to develop some, to share the experience, like, like you come to join for this conference, the most, I think the most objective for this conference is to share the idea, not only to present your research. I think is to uh, sit together and to share some of the idea and go to the places you never uh, been visit before, 
and to taste and to have more friends from the conference. Uh, <coughs> I think my presentation is maybe a part of your idea that you can you can have a more idea and you can search from the information by Tourism Authority of Thailand, tat.go.th and also by the ministry, mots.go.th you can find more information about the tourism development plan, about the affiliate agency and more contact with our tourist police assistants and I do hope you will enjoy among your uh, joining the conference and any other program that the host have been arranged for you, have be, will be arranged for you and also please enjoy for the next presentation from the president uh, and the chairman of the board, director of the TAT Tourism Authority of Thailand for the next uh, presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, also thank you very much. Uh, for your insightful and very clear information about Thainet's sustainable tourism. Uh, is there any question from the floor? We probably get one question. Okay, a gentleman over there. Sir? Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh thank you. It's a it's a very, very beautiful presentation. We have learned so much. Uh, I'm from South Africa. Uh, and um, when I saw the Tourism Police Bureau, I was very impressed because we have a, a small challenge of safety and security in the country. And there was a discussion about that. So we'll possibly follow um, in academic writing and advise the state on that, hey, this is current operational in Thailand. So thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think we, we can share for the, the experience. I think many countries you have uh, the agents like this, but in Thai, I think we a lot more in terms of the to to let our tourism to let our visitor as as a friends as a cousin. That's that's why every children go to school. Teacher always teach that you will have to. You have to smile when you see the foreigner, like a land of smile, like a Thai smile. It's also work for the for the century. I think like this, yeah. People more more friendly. I think by Thai people uh, attitude, I think it's more friendly when we meet uh, for the foreign uh, visitor, especially for the foreign tourists. I think more friendly than we talk with Thai and Thai people. <laughs> It's more calm and it's more uh, like a more compromise. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your uh, question and thank you that uh, you joined the conference. Kapun Kap. Okay. Thank you all. We are sorry that we have very limited time. Uh, probably you can ask him during the break if he is around. Eh?